Does time have a smell? To be honest, I had never really thought about that until I learned that dogs can smell the passage of time. Hey, wonderful viewers, and Merry Christmas. This is a classic story of something that I learned and because it interests me, it might well interest you. Does time have a smell? I read about it in an article about animals on NPR, National Public Radio. The story goes that in the United States, when little Joey leaves for school on the school bus, something we have in the US, the dog knows before the bus arrives home when the kid is about to come home. And the parents of the child and the dog's owner says it's uncanny. The dog jumps up from the sofa and goes to the back door before the bus arrives at the end of the driveway and little Joey toddles home and goes, hi mom, I'm home. How did the dog know what time it was? This will be a short video but stay tuned to the end and I'll tell you the answer. And it's Counterintuitive. How many times in this video am I going to use the word counterintuitive? Oh no, that's two already. Yeah, it is. And you already know that time doesn't just flow forward like an arrow and fruit flies like a banana. That's one of my favorite jokes. No, time is relative. Thank you, Albert Einstein. The faster you go, the less you age. That's why I, when I pedal fast on my electric bike, I age less. Not really, but yes, that is a little bit true. Did you know that GPS satellites that are 13,000 miles above Earth and orbit the Earth twice every day, interestingly, why didn't they just place them at geostationary orbit? must be 26,000 miles away, and so they're in fixed space. That would pretty well solve this problem I'm going to tell you about. But for some reason, they did them halfway, exactly halfway from low orbit to geostationary. 13,000 miles, twice a day, one of the GPS satellites in a constellation, and you need to see about eight to get a fix, goes over your house or over your car or over your phone. And its time is wrong because it's traveling so fast. Compared with us who are nearly stationary or driving around here on Earth, the GPS satellite is going so fast that its clock is actually going slower. A GPS works in a simple way. If you know the time of the satellites and you know the time of your device, you can work out where you are and where you've moved from. It's a really good system, but it's a classic case of relativity. The GPS satellite is going fast, so the clock in it is going slower. And in your Garmin device, there's a compensation chip for relativity. Anyway, I digress from this counterintuitive way of thinking. Does time smell? Yes, and we use our nose to measure the passage of time all the time. How many of us have gone to the fridge, taken out a carton of milk and sniffed it to see if it's fresh, nearly off, or rancid. Urgh. What you've just done is measured how old the milk is. And that's what dogs do when they sniff a lamppost. Isn't it wonderful? You can do lamppost sniffing on YouTube. They can tell the size of the dog, the sex of the dog, and most importantly, when, i.e. when it left its scent on the lamppost. Is it fresh? Is it a week old or is it really old? And that gives them an idea of, is there another dog somewhere in my vicinity? And that's why dogs sniff things, to tell the time. They're actually checking how old something is from the current time because of its odor. How clever is that? So how did the dog know when little Joey's school boss was about to come home? Well, it needed to look at the problem in 
a counterintuitive way. Yes. And that's a really good science fit process by asking the big question, the obvious questions, the difficult questions, things that people don't often think about can reveal a secret. And that's what I try and do when I'm looking at anything. Anywho, the odor of time and the dog. This is what somebody counterintuitively figure it out. Little Joey is smelly to a dog, like we all are. He goes to school with his stinky trainers, with his gym outfit. And those smells fill the house when little Joey leaves for school with his stinky kit. And dogs are amazing. During the day, those stinky smells slowly subside to a set level where the dog has figured out when they reach this level, the bus comes. <laughs> How brilliant is that? So next time you open the fridge door and sniff the milk, you're measuring time with your nose. The truth is out there.